guys, how are you? Welcome to my house, which is also the headquarters of GTS uh, Newcastle Guitar Tuition Services. And it's also the place where I do the content for the website Shaky King. Um, I want to do a video for the total beginner, and I mean the total beginner, someone who's never even held a guitar, okay? Um, and I'm gonna, uh, we're going to do a song called To Her Door by Paul Kelly. Australian song, an incredibly famous uh, Australian song, very popular Australian song. An iconic song, and one that's not too difficult to play with the very simple chords that I'm going to show you and the very simple technique. Um, first of all, some facts about the guitar. Okay, here's some stuff that you might already know or you might not. We have six strings. Standard. The guitar has six strings. The string that sits at the top is called the bottom string because it plays the lowest, uh, lowest tone, lowest pitch tone. And that's an E note, my friends. E note also on the top string, which sits at the bottom. It's the top string, that plays the top E, so it's two octaves higher than the low one. E. E. In the middle of those strings we have A string, the D string, please learn this, the G string and the B string. So on our guitar we have E, A, D, G, B and E. Eddie ate dynamite, good by Eddie. Or elephants and donkeys grow big ears. There's a couple of little phrases, a couple of little sentences to use to remember what those uh, strings are. E, A, D, G, B, E. From bottom string to top string. They're also numbered from the bottom. Six, five, four, three, two, one. String six, five, four, three, two, one. Okay. So there's some basic uh, information about your strings. Now I'm going to assume that your guitar's in tune for this. Uh, I'll do some stuff on tuning the guitar later in a separate video, but the assumption is that your guitar's in tune. We are going to put our middle finger on the third fret of the bottom string, okay? Now I'm a right-handed person, which means I'm doing my chords in my left hand. If you're left-handed, you can, if you have a left-handed guitar, you'll be doing all this with the opposite hands, right? Um, but also it's worth noting that if left-handed people can play the guitar right-handed quite easily, in my experience, left-handedness really, um, for the, this purpose anyway, for the purpose of playing the guitar, means ambidextrous, okay? But anyway, uh, middle finger, third fret, bottom string. <coughs> now if you just strum down, just get your pick between your thumb and your index finger and strum down, you should get a chord called, called G6 actually, but just think of it as your G chord. Get your middle finger, the very tip of the finger, get that in there, in the third fret of that bottom string, and try and curl the finger so that the finger is not touching most of the other strings. If it touches the A string and mutes that, that's actually preferable. You don't want an A note in a G chord. Okay? So that's a pretty simple way, isn't it, of just banging out a, a, a chord that sounds a lot like the G chord. Now, if you do four strokes, Get used to that nice and smooth and a, and a supple wrist. You don't want to be too stiff like this, just nice and smooth. Four beats, that's one bar, you've just played one bar of G. The one finger G chord, okay? We're going to show you the others in a second. Um, now, so that's how you play the first, very first part of the verse of To Her Door. It's also the first part of the intro, but let's sing it. Let's do the verse. We got married. Okay, what's next? Get your index finger and put it on the second fret of the G string, okay? Now that can be a one finger equivalent of the D chord. Do four strokes on that. Okay, and then try moving from one chord to the next. Okay. When you first do that, you're going to have to stop and move. You have to stop and just move properly. That's okay. The next thing you do is put your middle finger on the third fret of the A string, string number five. Do four more strokes, or one bar, of that chord. Then come back to the original position, third fret of the bottom string. And do four more strokes, four more beats. Look at all that. Now, <coughs> let me 
sing with that? The verse. They got married early. Never had no money. You do it again. As soon as they got laid off, they really hit the skits and cake going. Started off his drinking. Then they started fighting. I'll do it four times. Took it pretty badly. This is the verse. She took both the kids. Okay? Now, if you want to stop, rewind, go back through everything, do it with me on the video, you'll, you'll start to develop that first verse. Okay, fantastic. Um, let's look now at bringing some upstrokes in, okay? Uh, this is important. You, just don't, you don't want to just do downstrokes the whole time. You have to play rhythms, of course. And with the right hand motion or the strumming arm motion of the guitar, it requires upstrokes as well. So let's, let's level up now and do some upstrokes. We're going to go back to our one finger G chord. And we're going to try down, 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 up, down, up. Okay? <coughs> and it has to sound like that. It has to be fluent and in time. With the arm working regularly. You don't want to do this. Okay, you'll do this. Crotch it, crotch it, quaver, 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 quaver for our theory minded friends. Down, 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 up, down, up. We've just done one bar of music. Down, 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 up, down, up is one of the very most common guitar rhythms. If you can get used to pumping out that rhythm, you'll, uh, you'll scoot along very quickly in your technique, technical development. So now you apply that rhythm to each of the one finger chords. They got married early, never had no money. Soon as he got paid off, one finger at a time, okay? With down, with down, 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 up, down, up, in the right arm. Stop this video periodically and just go to your guitar and try and do that, okay? We're going to go on now to a little bit of development of your left hand fingers. We're going to use two finger chords now. I want you to put your ring finger in the third fret of the second string, the B string, the second string from the top string. Keep that ring finger there as you now move your other one finger each chord, right? So in other words, now you've got your middle finger at the third fret of the bottom string and your ring finger at the third fret of the B string. Now, we can call it a G5 and you do your same rhythm. Okay. Now, pivoting, an incredibly important technical point. Pivoting means that you will leave one finger in the same spot as you move between two different chords with other fingers moving. So in this case, we'll get our middle finger at the third fret of the bottom B string and our ring finger in the third fret of B. Now we're gonna take our middle finger off but leave our ring finger on. I'm gonna put our index finger now at the second fret of the G string. Now we have a D5 chord, a two finger D chord and we've pivoted. Now watch, we'll go from one to the other. Keep the ring finger where it is still. Take that index finger off and put your middle finger in the third fret of the A string. Do one bar of that. And then move your middle finger back to the G. Back to the third fret of the bottom string. <coughs> and there you have two finger chords. G5, D5, C sus2, and G5 again, right? So here we go. They got married early, never had no money, etc. Okay, now I want to show you the full chords, that is the fully developed chords that everybody plays, if you've been taught the chords. Here you go for your G chord, four fingers, middle finger at the bottom string, third fret, index finger at the second fret of A, middle finger at the third fret of B, and pinky up there at the third fret of the top string. That is an actual G chord, G major chord. Keeping your ring finger where it is, you pivot to a full D major chord. Now the index finger is at the second fret of G. The ring finger is where you left it in the third fret of B. Middle finger is in the second fret of the top string. Beautiful. That's your D chord. Then 
Move all fingers away from the guitar. Put your index finger in the first fret of B. Put your middle finger in the second fret of D. And your ring finger in the third fret of A. That's an actual C major chord. And then you go back to your G major. Let me sing that verse for you again. They got that head early. Never had no money. Soon as they got laid off, they really hit the skids. Down, 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 up, down, up. You see? Or if you're not ready for that, just down, 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 down. You see? Okay. So that's part A of Paul Kelly's To Her Door. Let me show you part B. You need another chord called E minor. And I don't think you can really play the one finger E minor chord. I think you've got to use two. Put your index finger in the second fret of A and your middle finger in the second fret of D. Give that the old down, 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 up, down. That's an E minor chord, by the way. Down, 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 up, down. Or down, 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 down. You can, you, it's your choice for the time being. You have to work, you have to develop that down, 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 up, down, up. After E minor, play a D. Either three fingers, two fingers, or one finger, it's up to you. And then C, same thing. And D. And then C and D once more. So that's how you play the second part of two her door. E minor, D, C. And remember part A was one bar of G, one bar of D, one bar of C, one bar of G. So, <coughs> there are two parts. Now, the song chart is on the website, shakyking.com. Just go into student resources, song charts, alphabetically you'll find it. Um, you'll find the song charts so you can play the whole song. What I want to do is talk to you about not playing the whole song, but a little, a little mini structure. If we can play part A uh, four times, Part B once, and then part A again two times. Let me demonstrate. They got married early, never had no money. Soon as they got laid off, they really hit the skids. Started off his drinking, then they started fighting. Took it pretty badly, so let's have four times. Go down to part B, E minor. I'm not standing back to watch you slowly die. Watch me walk in. Back to part A. To your door. Out your door. I mean, one more part. Part A. Okay. That is your introductory lesson. To recap, we've discovered the strings E, A, D, G, B, E. Six, five, four, three, two, one, bottom string to top string. We started you with a one finger G chord and a one finger D chord. One finger G chord, third fret bottom string. One finger D chord, index finger, second fret G string. And a one finger C chord, middle finger, third fret A string. Then we've gone to the two finger equivalents by adding our ring finger in the 3rd fret of B. And as a result, we've got G5, D5 and C sus2. And then we showed you the full chords. We started with just strumming 4 down strokes per bar, and then we inserted those 2 up strokes. Okay? And then we gave you a mini structure <coughs> of two her door, the song that's on the website in its full glory, in the form of a song chart. So that's your first video, guys. I hope you um, can make some headway with that. I want you to get in touch with me if you want to uh, through the contact form or through a message to GTS Newcastle Guitar Tuition Services on Facebook. Uh, and let me know if there's anything, if you have any questions at all or if there's any technical point you'd like to ask or a song maybe you'd like me to suggest that I can then um, demonstrate to you. All this is totally free uh, currently. It's free for you guys. So I hope you've enjoyed it. Thanks very much. I'm Paul Nickerson from GTS Guitar Tuition. Thank you.